Are you constantly in pain at your office? Are you suffering from neck, shoulder, back, or wrist pain? You're not alone. Musculoskeletal disorders account for 35% of all lost time compensation claims in Ontario. At the Occupational Health Clinics for Ontario Workers, our goal is to promote the physical well-being of workers. We do that by fitting the workstation to the worker and by ensuring that the key musculoskeletal risk factors are reduced. Force, awkward posture, repetition, and contact stress are the main ergonomic risk factors. When you type and mouse with insufficient recovery time, repetition comes into play. Force is the amount of exertion required by your muscles to perform a task. Aggressively striking your keys can be considered forceful. Awkward or static postures are often caused by poor design or equipment selection. When your wrists are extended, when your neck is extended, or when you don't have adequate lumbar support, you are at increased risk for injury. Let's take a look at your workstation to see if we can make you comfortable. First, we're going to remove the footrest. We want to make sure the equipment is fit to you, not the other way around. I'm also going to lower your chair. Right now, your chair is too high, which causes a pressure point in the back of your leg and reduces blood flow. We'll lower your chair until we have a 90 degree angle in your knees. Next, we want to check the seat pan depth. Do you have room to place a full fist between the edge of the chair and the back of the knee? If not, then you will need a new chair with a shorter seat pan. Now I want to make sure that the keyboard and mouse height is appropriate for you. The keyboard and mouse should be situated at elbow height to ensure you have a 90 degree angle in your elbows. To achieve this, you will need a height adjustable keyboard tray. Avoid the trays with a slide-out platform for the mouse. They are unsteady and cause the mouse to be a few centimeters higher or lower than the keyboard. The top of the monitor should be aligned with eye height. Always make sure your neck is not flexed, extended, or twisted. If you wear bifocals, it should be three centimeters lower than eye height. Now your workstation is set up to fit you and you're working with a neutral posture. This will help reduce musculoskeletal disorders. Please note that this video was designed to provide general guidelines for setting up your workstation. Don't forget, maximizing adjustability and avoiding static postures through frequent movement is ideal. Some individuals may require more tailored solutions to address their workstation needs. Call an OCAL office near you to seek further advice. At OCAL, we want to make sure that office workers can adjust their workstations according to their body proportions. That's why we created the Office Ergo Calculator. It can be found on our website. To use this tool, simply measure each component of your workstation with the help of the diagrams on your screen. And click Submit. With the help of this tool, you'll be able to find if your equipment is too high or too low. You will also get a table with ideal measurements. You should set up your workstation according to these to ensure an ergonomic setup. Your colleagues and Joint Health and Safety Committee can also use this tool to make sure that the office is healthy and free of ergonomic risk factors. Call an OCAL office near you if you have questions or you need guidance with an assessment.